Hello, this is Alkesh Nanavati again. Um, here is another uh, example of uh, 3D composition that we are going to build and discuss inside of uh, Fusion. Um, you're looking at Photoshop right now because I just wanted to start with this uh, still pose that I took uh, in New York City. Um, I wanted to have a um, uh, a shot where I can move my camera from one end to the other um, and as you may know once you use the still pictures for projection your camera motion is very limited because you're missing information about what's behind this building for example so um, I needed another shot so I here is another shot that I took um, just bring up a little so you can see so um, it's the same place where I'm standing. My camera obviously is angled differently this time. It's the same camera. It's GH2 by Panasonic, and I use 20 millimeter lens, which again becomes very important when you're doing projection type job. You need to know the lens. You need to know the focal length. Um, you need to know the backplate. Um, all those in pieces of, and also distortion. Uh, information is very important to have accurate um, results when you are doing the 3D uh, uh, composition and projection. So here is n uh, shot number one, or c um, picture number one, here is picture number two, and I'm going to combine these two inside of Maya um, so that we can project these both images onto the same geometry, and the geometry would line up perfectly. Um, it's, uh, it, it's quite a bit of work, but interesting work I, I really enjoyed doing that um, you can really see after you do the projection completely and look at look back at the camera and, and you can see how you were must have been standing holding the camera that's something that we'll talk later but for now um, let me just show you what I did here so here is the uh, the image um, and then I have broken that down into several buildings and each building has um, these two actually it's interesting because I'm just combining or, or filling the gap here this was the only building that I had and then I had to extend that so I used uh, some of the techniques inside of uh, Photoshop to do that so basically everything is divided into uh, separate buildings and also the background um, yeah and, and I created these two buildings one without shadow and one you know with shadow just wanted to see which one I would use um, I think I'm gonna end up using one with the shadow anyway so we'll talk about that uh, this is just a preview um, of you know what's coming alright so let's go to fusion and just see what I'm building from this um, so here are the two pictures again here's number one number two and what I have done so far is created a bunch of geometry here these are all FBX and 3D shapes inside of uh, Fusion where the image is going to be projected. So um, again, we'll walk through each node um, later on. And on the other side, you have the images that are projected. And these are Photoshop files. And all I have done is in the format, use the appropriate layer to have the projection. So we'll talk about that. Here is my film camera, and these are all the cameras, by the way, the projection camera, and I have color-coded so I know which one is one and two. Um, by the time you see this uh, in the final form, you will also see all sorts of color coding here so that I can pair them. I know which geometry is connected with which projector. Organization is very important when you have uh, complex work. So um, this is the light that I'm using to light the scene that you will see. I've given a little... Um, dull color here, little um, or yellowish. Um, yeah, so let's take a look at the final comp and go to frame number one. Um, so the camera is mo um, looking down, and then it's gonna go up. So let's play it to see, you know, and it's going to be 60 frames per second um, as soon as it's cached. Right now, it's probably building the cache. Uh, let's see, where are we? 38 percent of uh, 24 GB alright so you get the idea of the motion that I'm going after now this shot 
I'm inspired by um, the work that I saw um, for Terminator and also for uh, Transformer. Um, so I, in this scene, you will see later on that uh, I'm going to have a um, you know destruction here, you know, of the building. There's going to be a few uh, hunter killers from. Um, um, Terminator that I have modeled in uh, Maya going to be flying around with uh, a lot of the effects you know uh, their own thrust um, three uh, engines that they usually have firing the um, the elevation control and the laser and, and you know all sorts of weapons that they use and they're going to make a lot of damage here this building um, they're actually going to cut through the building they're going to enter at, at this point, I think somewhere around here, they're going to enter one of these buildings and shoot out from the other end. So they're going to break everything, and obviously where they come out, there's going to be a lot of projectile uh, debris uh, and everything that you find inside of a building. Um, I have kept the buildings empty of people. This uh, was not supposed to be any sort of a violent shot. So, um, So just presume that there is no one inside these buildings they're all empty and uh, all you will see flying out would be sort of the stationaries that you uh, would imagine that the tables the computers um, um, knickknacks all sorts of papers flying um, and and the ki hunter killer itself you know would be flying out so getting everything out um, I'll, I'll show you in Maya soon what, what I'm doing there. Anyway, um, there's going to be a lot of set extension type work here because you can see see the um, the background. Look at the water. There's quite a bit of water here. Um, and if you look at the pictures, there's not much water to play with. Here is somewhat water and there's a river here. So I've combined both of them, both of these pictures, backgrounds to... Uh, build this river so you actually don't know this yet but there are two different water that you see here and an interesting thing is that the color and the exposure of this water is different from that of this so when I build this finally I m had to make sure that color correction is appropriately done so that both water would go uh, with each other without making any uh, difference in exposure and color Alright, so um, there's still some geometry work to be done here. You can see there is uh, some spillage of um, texture inside the um, the terrace. This one I have already cleaned out. Um, there is some equipment here that I'll have to build in Maya and make sure that I put there. But for now I just use this part here to empty everything out that you can see right here. This thing, whole thing is empty. Um, all right, so um, that's going to be the final shot once it's done. This is just the preview, so uh, just bear with me as I build the whole thing. So let's go to Maya for a minute and tell you, you know, what I'm doing there. So here is Maya. This is the same shot, um, and there's a camera here that you're also looking through. It's a film camera. Um, I don't think it's exactly the same motion that I have in, in uh, Fusion. What I'll do is um, export camera from Fusion in FBX and bring it here. And then it would be lining up, you know, exactly. But anyway, so the idea is that in this building, for example, the hunter killer uh, machine is entering from this end and penetrating inside the building and then coming out from this face here. So let's see how it would be. Um, you can see some work that I have done inside, you know, it's showing up, but this is a just a previs, so bear with it. Um, so imagine, and, and for that, I think I may have used a ball or something. Um, yeah, so this ball here, you know, is cracking this whole walls. You will see that I've used Maya's uh, end cloth for this and a lot of dynamics and real physics used. So this here is the ball and it's going to go through as you can see it's it's entering the building here, right? And it's going to 
come out here with debris so now you see that there is a lot of broken windows and everything flying around uh, behind that you see some particles building um, most likely some sort of smoke coming out um <coughs> this ball itself is not going to be visible so when i hide the ball all you see is just the uh just the debris flying around like this um so instead of ball i'll use the uh the hunter killer machine there model um yeah so let's look through perspective just to see how uh, how it's building um so it's it's flying around uh, you can see it's it all this debris um they're actually u using real physics in terms of the, the motion and also they're uh, uh, coming down with gravity later on um this is just one piece of uh, debris there is going to be a lot of there there's going to be different particles doing different things and different instancing and geometry instancing on uh, onto particle and you know a lot of turbulence and rotation and expression writing work to um uh, to make it accurately um uh, um look believable um <coughs> and uh yeah so that's uh, that's the uh, idea here um so just bear with me for a couple of more weeks i think it will take to uh, to finish this but i just wanted to um get the idea out and um just show you you know what i'm working on these days um so yeah that's uh, that's about it talk to you soon